ever feel like you're being watched while trying on clothes in a store dressing room? If you shop at some of the country's biggest retail chains, you may be shocked by what CBS 2's Avila Vargas saw in our hidden camera investigation. So I could walk by anybody else's door and the, and the same thing. So anybody walking by could actually see it. from Tahanga is a devoted Macy's customer who agreed to let us record her and her daughter with hidden cameras while shopping at Macy's in Burbank. Oh my gosh. Laura was unaware that anyone could peer in as she disrobed in a Macy's changing stall until we pointed out what we could see right through the inward facing slats in the doors. Right, like shutters. And those are backward shutters. I don't really think that they should have doors like these. If I can see those birds, I could probably see you. It's not okay. <laughs> We found dressing room doors like these even in the children's section, and it wasn't just in Burbank. We went shopping with hidden cameras at Macy's in North Hollywood, Sherman Oaks, Glendale, Canoga Park, and Culver City, and discovered you could see clearly into the dressing rooms there as well. And it's not just Macy's. We caught the same thing at Saks Fifth Avenue and the Ann Taylor Loft as well. In all, we saw it in store after store after store. When you're trying on clothes, don't just assume that because you can't see through these slats that the person on the outside can't see you changing. The direction of these slats provides a clear view for a predator with a camera or an employee to peer in. That's not me, guys. I knew for a fact that our uh, customers did not know that we could see them naked. This former Macy's employee with 20 years experience in department store loss prevention doesn't want to reveal his identity. He says this is done intentionally without customers knowing and he says it's wrong. I was shown the fitting rooms by another detective who is a, a man um, in the women's department of the, of the store. The slats or louvers of the doors were not pointed down but they were pointed up where from the outside, once the doors close, you can see in. The whistleblower says he was told dressing room doors were intentionally hung in such a way that allowed employees to monitor customers to prevent shoplifting. While Macy's now chalks it up to different interior designs at stores acquired over the years, it originally told our sister station in Florida, Retailers work hard to strike a balance between preserving the privacy of customers, providing customer service, maintaining customer safety in fitting rooms, and deterring the theft of merchandise. We showed what we found to Peter Eliasberg with the ACLU in Southern California. If they got down to naked or got down to their underwear, you would pretty clearly be able to see what was going on. Eliasberg says while everyone's level of privacy is different, there are many people who treat bodily integrity seriously and would be disturbed by the video we showed him. Merely to say, well, we have an interest in preventing theft isn't alone enough for my, to my mind to just say, okay, and therefore your privacy rights are just completely thrown out the window. Eliasberg says California law is clear. Anyone who looks through a hole or opening of a changing room or fitting room which the occupant has a reasonable expectation of privacy with the intent to invade privacy is breaking the law. I certainly would, would be interested in telling Macy's that you're playing with fire and arguably violating a California criminal statute. As for Laura, yeah, she'll I'm think twice the next time cool. she steps inside any dressing room. I don't think I'll ever try on anything again, I, honestly. Or I'll look for that now, for sure. I'll buy things, take them home, try them on, bring them back. Sibila Vargas, CBS 2 News. The whistleblower in our story was eventually fired by Macy's. The company is now working to reverse its dressing room doors across the country. Ann Taylor Loft says its dressing room doors were simply installed improperly and will now fix them. Saks Fifth Avenue would not comment.